It was dawn when the donkey woke From dozing on stiff legs, damp with dew The alarm clock, cock, pheasant, cuckoo, magpie And all that noisy crew Deafened his large, loppy lugs Now cocked as he stood By his bush in the corner of May He looked with dismay all around at the thistle and darnel and dock that grew in that ground. Sod this for a donkey's breakfast, he said, for this is the way that donkeys speak, being rustic and down-to-earth creatures. This is the week I do something about this dismal fair. Nothing here to hee-haw for. This is the way the donkeys sing. To their music is a special thing that not everyone else appreciates. And so, with a quick flick of heels high against rotting timbers, he seals the fate of the old fence and hey-ho through the gap he goes at a gentle trot, swishing his tail into the meadow. Now he had listened to the cuckoo's song and, though he knew his voice was strong, he thought her sweeter, had heard it said, had been told and believed it to be true, that she sucked all sweet flowers to keep her voice clear. And so in the hay meadow he was of good cheer dining off clover, sweet as honeydew. And as the donkey munched and dreamed, from a ring of darker grass a fairy spoke, made him start. If you could make a wish, what would it be? The donkey without a thought replied, that I might sing in any key, not just in he, or nearly he. Then try a song now, the fairy said, for what is told and sung is so, that eating flowers sweetens the voice. Come on now, have a go. And nervously, donkey began and found no more a braying sound, but fair notes, melodies, where his to warble on the air. He sang his clover-loving song with lush voice of resonant hue that rose to drown the noisy birds, dispelling all the dew. And so he sang when sun was up, And so he sang the whole day long, and every day, and on and on, for every day from then, no more thistle or dunl or dock, this donkey's breakfast was the best. So this donkey, forever, no longer sang like all the rest of his tribe, but was a star of meadow and field who entertained the folk for miles around. The sweetest sound you ever heard. But if you think this tale absurd, well, it was told to me by a jealous bird that changed its tune in June. Cook, 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 cook. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw.